What's up, y'all? It's your girl, J. Renee, with Prison Ride Radio. I hope that you're doing well. This evening, we have a brother on the phone by the name of Kenneth Bernard. He wants to talk to us about what's going on with him. He is currently incarcerated in the New York um, State Department of Corrections, and we want to give him an opportunity to tell us the things and injustices that he says that he's been facing. So let's jump right into it. All right, you there, bro? I'm um, like to say, uh, this is um, Kenneth Bernard, aka Quinn as Virgo. Um, in July 1987, um, James Fernando, um, a crack user, was get killed. Um, the witness, Everton Cook, make a statement say it was Old Joe who killed this person. Also in also in July the 10th, 1987, Tanya Lang. A crack user was also get killed. Everton Everton Cook made the statement say it was um Jamash M A S M A M A S H Jamash kill her. In nineteen ninety, all of my so called friend them them get arrested and them all met deals and said I commit the crime. Everton, all of these guys um, you know, make all the deals and say, I told them I commit this crime. So all of them was also from the 33rd precinct, the dirty, the dirty third, yeah. um, Michael Wash from the dirty third, yeah. and used the rabbits and steal all the money from us. And the only thing with him, any um, evidence against us, but like my, you breaking up, bro. You breaking up, breaking up, yeah. Coming in. Coming. Uh, oh, also, also, Michael Kennedy used to rob us and steal our uh, money from us. He was convicted later on, though. He was convicted, and his partner, um, Barrett, Mike Barrett. Matthew, also that's his partner. All of them was used to rob us. Um, James, um, detective James Killing. Him hate Jamaican for some reason. I don't know what it is. His partner Anthony Crasso also um, set us a lot of us up. And I'm um, Russell. His last name spelled L I T W E A N. He. He just a he just a notorious robber. He just rob you and and just keep it moving. In twenty in twenty thirteen, he rob a lady um for like thirty thousand. If you Google it, you see all of these um dirty cops. And um, Joe Potter from the thirty second person, the very cocky guy, he planted a gun on me in um nineteen eighty eighty nine. And all of these cops in my case, uh, Sergeant James Burke and Officer Officer um, Jackie, Detective Coven, Detective Williams, Narcraft, uh, Richard Repti, and Detective Charles and Danny Parson and John Flennon and Natalie McClatrin. M A, no M C C L I N T O C K, and uh, Raymond, the same the same last M M C C L I N T O K, and Officer Um Six Gerald, um Glenn Whitfield, you know all of them um yeah these are all the dirty thirty. And all the cops them from the dirty thirty, all of them in my case, most of them was convicted and and up to now the district attorney in Manhattan, Alvin Brax, I can like him, don't wanna um, review my case. I don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. And recently recently I find the brief, recently I request the brief in Albany for one of the witnesses, um, Everton Court. And in the brief, when I was reading it, it said, it said in the brief, him falsely, him falsely implicate a guy in a murder, and the guy was upstairs. And the guy I'm talking about was Kenneth Bernard, 
A.K. Virgo. And Everton quote him ship the, the murder weapon to Jamaica. So it was, you know, so all of these, all of these fabrication, all these evidence and all this stuff, the district attorney, Alvin Brax, I can like him, still don't want to look into my case. Um, November, last year, the 27th, um, the 30, 30 percent, two guys was exonerated. They were with some of the same cops, same cops. And one of the judges where I put the motion, one of the judges where I put the motion in front of her, cited Wayne Garner case, and affirm my case, and later on, a, a year later, she she exonerated him. So this is what was going on. I don't know what you know what what's the reason why none of these people don't want to look at my case. You know, the evidence the evidence is there. There is no eyewitness to either one of these crimes. Mm -hmm. These guys said I make I told them I commit the crime. No eyewitness, no gun, or nothing. It just. His word against my word. They make all this deal against me. Mm -hmm. You know. So, do you have, um, do you have a lawyer now, or like, what's going on when it comes to your legal representation? No. Um. So far, I have this advocate, um, Regina, and to show you all the injustice doing to me, the judge, the judge, tell her if I need a hearing to file motions. Uh -huh. The judge, the judge, tell her this, and she filed a motion. And while the motion was pending, to give the um, the district attorney opportunity to respond back to the motion, them just denied it until uh, she, them she just denied the motion in um, January, no December, mm -hmm. and said Regina is not a um a lawyer. I got to file the motion. So he just a ping pong. Them just oh, ping ponging on me around over, over again. So that's the reason why I'm telling you, I was heading to the law library now. Got the judge give her a heart and say, I got to file it pro se. So at the moment, I don't have a lawyer right now. At the moment. Okay. Are you trying to get legal representation or? What you, um, what yes, I'm that? trying. Cause I got it. I got the, I, I got the issue. The issue is there, but anytime. Us as prisoner um, file a motion for some reason. Even though we file a good argument, uh -huh. them still argue like them the one to listen to us. Cause them argue like, oh, oh, oh since you're going there, you know you want to learn the law and all of this stuff. So, yes, I would love to have a representation. Cause I got the motion, but I don't want to put it in court. I gotta make a copy and just wait. I gotta make three three set of copy right now. Soon as I finish speaking to you in the law library, but I but I don't want to go file it unless I have a representation. A right. piece. I definitely understand that. How long have you been incarcerated, bro? Um, so far, uh, I'm going on um, 34 years in prison. That is crazy. Yeah, thir yeah, 34 years. Yeah, they definitely know how to um, bury people when it comes to that. Do you have any petitions out that people can sign when it comes to that kind of stuff? Um, so, f um, so far, I was, um, I was doing, um, yeah, I was doing um, a clemency. I have a clemency. Um, the package don't went in yet. The package never went in yet. Um, I just heard from this um, lady who was doing it. This um, she only would do like clemency and stuff like that to the governor. So that's what we um, we're doing that now. We're trying to um, cause we were showing the governor all these mess representation of Davis with recant. Oh, also one of the witness we got the recantation mm -hmm. from Steve June. Where um, Steve June indicated, even though I know all this a, a long time, I know this, but I never expect it. But in come forward with a private investigator, he said, um, the officer, them, James, um, James Killen and the rest of them, they really want me off the street. I'd be like, damn, why this dude hate me like that? Right. Just find him out, 
just find him out, just say him commit the murder. And my uncle after gave us and we added to it. So when we sent the motion in, the judge was like, Oh, this young you have a lot of people testify against you, you got one um after gives. I'm like, what's wrong with this judge? What do you mean we only got one? It doesn't matter if we got one or two or three. You know, this is what, what he said and this is what. So, and also, and also, too, she was like, oh, these officers wasn't in the case. There wasn't like. Right. Yeah. You know yeah. When they look up the dirt, when they look up the dirty turn, cops them. Mm-hmm. When they look them up, you see all, all those names what I gave you from the 38th precinct. You see all that pop up from way back. Mm-hmm. And, and two guys just get exonerated November the 27th. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully you'll yeah. be one of them soon, brother. Is there anything else that yes. you want to let us know or that we need to know that's important? Um, yeah, Mr. Sweet, um, it just um, also... Also, I've been filing um, freedom information last um, last year, the year before, no, 2022. I write the district attorney for, um, you know, freedom information, getting some people who are dealing with my case. So they write back and, you know, tell me they get my letter and then be back in, in 90 days. Turn into ninety days, turn into one year and two months. Mm. So, so that does show me, even though I'm a bit no, but that does show me what's been going on. You know, so um, this lawyer was like, "Oh no, that's a default, Carl. Why did it take so long?" And still no answer to my, uh, and still no answer my request yet. Yeah, my request is still no answer yet. You know, in twenty in twenty seventeen, all right. Again, and um, this lady from the district attorney office she said three box, three box, I'm a, three boxes, I'm a paperwork missing. I'm like, what was that? You know. So this mm-hmm. is what's going on. Uh, you know, uh, Jay, it's Jay. 